Attention on the back and obesity. I'm doing two radio shows in the next week and or talking with the doctor at the medical center and at BSU. I give a talk on obesity, on heart disease. By the record, we talked about and, and really has helped. There are only four of my ten health departments to do by the way, <coughs> fourth line. I have to be one of those. And emergency preparedness. We have a huge emergency preparedness program where we partner with the hospital, we partner with the county, we partner with the city, anybody. And, and, and it's, it's a lot more than you realize, of course. As long as we don't have an emergency here again, we don't care about it. Uh, we still have a long way to go. In Georgia, if one is bad, 50 is excellent. Obesity in children, we're number two. Infant mortality, we're number five. Syphilis, number three. TB, number five. This is a now problem. This is a wise problem. This is a now problem. We try our best to keep these, to do, to give information, education, and to help keep babies healthy that the threat of syphilis and tuberculosis and obesity is the big gorilla in the room right there. I'm not getting off of that right now. South Health District per capita income by county, look at Lowndes County. In 1999, it's $17,000. In 2010, it's $21,000. And you look across here at all the other counties in the South Health District, and obviously we act, we're actually not the leader. The 10 miles behind Brooks County, as you know, is pretty much a bedroom community, either for Tipton or for Lawrence County. Uh, public health spending per capita in, Georgia, in Alabama is $68. In Georgia, it's $13. In Mississippi, it's $9. In Southeast, we're second to last as far as spending <coughs> per capita in public health. In fact, a change in the workforce, in 1990, there was 6.5 million in Georgia. Nine, nine and a half million Georgians. In the same period of time, the public health registered nurses have gone from 1,800 to around 1,150. We have a gap of 800 now. Ideally, we'd have one per 5,000 population. At the moment, we have one per 9,000, or per 7,000 population. Uh, the potential impact, the impaired disaster response, increased inappropriate visits to the emergency room, increased teen pregnancies, increased in Mortality, increase in diseases such as TB, STDs, increase in people. We had shut our SHAP clinic last year, also funded. What is SHAP? Stroke and hypertension method. What is that to prevent premature stroke heart attack? We had to close it for the first time in 25 years funded. And increase in people with hypertension who suffer stroke, early heart disease, and untreated diabetes. Right, that goes along with blindness, it goes along with kidney failure, it goes along with neuropathy, heart attack. Okay, and, and this is environmental. These are the demand for environmental services since 2005, came out in the last couple of years. The blue line is the environmental workforce. You see there, we've gone, we, we have, uh, we were down to 394 in the state, uh, and we were around, four, around 450 or so, well, actually up around 490 back in my 2007. And this is to keep environmental, and this is how important what we do Yet we lost funding, we lost environmentalists. We had to give it a raise in, in our district, not even cost of living right, in six years. Okay. All right.